Hello, and welcome to Sienna Chalk Talks. My name is Michael Riemer. I'm a system design engineer at Sienna. Today I'm going to talk about terabit per second transmission. First, some perspective on one terabit per second. 1,000 billion bits per second would have transmitted 11 billion simultaneous telegraph sessions in the 1940s. In the 1980s, 140 million simultaneous voice calls. In the 1990s, a million simultaneous streaming videos. It's enough capacity to have carried the entire world's internet traffic in 2000. Today, one terabit per second represents only 2% of the internet's total traffic volume. So over time, one terabit per second has evolved from a fantastic to only a fractional capacity in the network, and it's shrinking even as we speak. As recently as 2005, one terabit per second would have consumed the entire available spectrum of an optical amplifier. This is due to the low spectral efficiency of conventional intensity modulated direct detection or IMDD transceivers. In these systems, information bits are transmitted in the form of light that's being switched either on or off. 100 of these 10 gigabit per second IMDD channels would fill the spectrum of the transmission fiber. In the meantime, and for the foreseeable future, the traffic growth continues. And the growth is to such an extent that 1,500 new fibers of IMDD traffic per year would be required to meet demand by 2025. Such growth in the network capacity would be unsustainable unless more bits per second can be transmitted within each hertz of available signal spectrum. It's more bits than are possible with IMDD. Modulation of the optical field together with coherent detection can achieve this. Now, bits can be transmitted using the amplitude, the phase, and the polarization of the optical field, not just the intensity, without changing the spectral occupancy. Digital signal processing in both the transmitter and the receiver make the solution practical. In Sienna's WaveLogic 3, we've achieved a 25-fold increase in the spectral efficiency of one terabit per second transmission. An important tool for achieving high spectral efficiency is to have control over the spectral shape. With this, one can decrease the width of the channel spectrum, allowing more channels per fiber with levels of crosstalk lower than would otherwise be possible. The advanced digital signal processing in the transmitter with the digital to analog converter in WaveLogic 3 enable this. So in summary, modern networks anticipate a one terabit per second channel capacity. And this requires a high spectral efficiency to put more bits in the available signal spectrum. With Sienna's WaveLogic 3, we've achieved a 25-fold increase in the spectral efficiency, and this is done using advanced digital signal processing in both the transmitter and the receiver, making one terabit per second transmission a reality. WaveLogic 3, it's building networks that change the way you compete.